Fourscore is an international detector offering worldwide use with its 10 language options. In this video, we will use the English menu to demonstrate the detector and its usage. Now let's go through the main screen and menu options of the force. On the main screen, you can see all the information you need during searching, ground balancing, and pinpointing. Now let's go through them one by one. Search screen. The color scale at the top of the LCD panel which represents rocks, iron, and metals encountered in the field. The horizontal target ID indicator bar. When a target is detected simultaneously with the display of the target ID, the target horizontal bar shows the color range corresponding to the detected target. Target ID. Target ID is a two-digit number produced by the detector when a target is detected and it gives you an idea about what the target may be. The number is displayed both on the LCD panel and the numeric display on the handle. Magnetic Mineralization Level Magnetic mineralization levels range from 0 to 99. This measurement can be summarized as the amount of the magnetic property and intensity of the ground. Simply put, if you are working on ground that is highly magnetic and mineralized, this value will be high. If the ground has low magnetic property, this value will be small. This measurement is important for two reasons. First, detection depth is low in areas with high magnetic mineralization, and the user should be aware of this fact. Second, magnetic mineralization is a property also found in hot rocks, and measuring its level will play an important role for the device to eliminate false signals caused by these hot rocks. Ground tracking on-off indicator. When ground tracking is on, this icon will blink. When it is off, the icon will be fixed. Battery level indicator. Indicates the battery life status. In addition, a warning message will appear on the screen when the batteries are low. Search mode or warning message info area. The search mode being used or the warning messages will appear here. Now let's take a look at the ground balance screen. Ground balance value. It will appear on the main screen after automatic or manual ground balancing. Ground balance fine tune value. It is used to fine tune the manual ground balance value. You can learn more about ground balancing in our following video. Pinpoint screen. Depth reading. Shows the estimated target depth reading in the pinpoint mode. Negative positive bar indicator. Indicates signals received from metals, rocks, or soil. In general, metals give a positive and rocks or soil a negative signal. The bar starts filling up as the target is approached. The maximum point it reaches indicates the center of the target. Magnetic mineralization level. We will further talk about pinpointing in our field video. Now let's go through the menu options of the device one by one. The first one is the mode selection. Four score has four search modes. These are discrimination two, discrimination three, conductive ground and general search modes. We will explain these modes further in our video titled search modes. The second setting in the menu is the sensitivity. Sensitivity is the detection depth setting that controls the gain of the device. It is used to eliminate the electromagnetic interference signals received from the surrounding environment as well as ground noise. Sensitivity level can be adjusted from 1 to 99 using the plus and minus switch. The next one is the threshold. Because threshold is only active in the general search mode, it will appear grayed out in the discrimination modes on the menu screen. 
Now to see this setting, we will switch the search mode of the device to general search. In the general search mode, a constant background hum is heard during searching. The loudness of this hum directly impacts the detection depth of smaller and deeper targets. If the threshold is set too high, the target signal may not be heard. On the contrary, if it is too low, you give up the depth advantage this setting offers. Threshold setting comes with a default value at each startup. It is recommended for average users to leave this setting at its default value and for experienced users to adjust to the highest level where they can still hear the weak target signals. Threshold level can be adjusted from 1 to 99 using the plus and minus switch. ID mask. Target ID is a number produced by the detector based on the target's conductivity, and it gives you an idea about what the target may be. ID masking, on the other hand, is the ability of the device to ignore unwanted targets. That is, it doesn't produce a warning tone or target ID when such targets are detected. It provides ease of use by rejecting hot rocks and metals such as iron and foil. ID mask can be adjusted from 0 to 99 using the plus and minus switch. ID mask works in the discrimination modes only. It cannot be used in the general search mode. We will talk about ID masking more in our video titled Search Modes. Frequency Changes the operating frequency of the device. It is used to eliminate the electromagnetic interference received from the surrounding environment or another detector operating within the same frequency range. There are five frequencies in the device. The factory default is number three. To activate it, while holding the pinpoint button down, press either the up-down or the plus-minus switch. Then you can select the frequency option in the menu and change it. Frequency shifting may affect the performance of the device. Therefore, it is recommended that you do not change the frequency unless necessary and keep it at the factory default. Volume This control allows you to increase or decrease the device's volume based on your preference and the environmental conditions. Volume level can be adjusted from 0 to 20 with a plus and minus switch. When you turn the device off and then on again, it will start with the last volume level you chose. Tone. It allows you to change the audio frequency of the threshold and target warning tones according to your preference. There are five different audio frequencies ranging from treble to bass. Tone change does not affect the iron tone. It is active in the general search, discrimination 2, and conductive ground modes. It is inactive in the discrimination 3 mode. It changes the audio frequency of the threshold sound in the general search mode and the gold non-ferrous metal sound in the discrimination 2 and conductive ground modes. Tone can be adjusted with the plus and minus switch. Brightness. Brightness allows you to adjust the backlight level of the numeric display on the handle in the LCD panel on the system box. This setting is common to both displays. Changes will take effect on both. When you change the brightness level in the menu, the backlight will turn on the numeric display and the number 88 will appear for easy adjustment. When you turn the device off and on again, it will start with the last brightness level you chose. Brightness level can be adjusted from 0 to 20 with a plus and minus switch. Vibration. The vibration feature of force has been developed with hearing impaired people in mind. This feature enables the device to provide vibration feedback as well as audio when a target is detected during searching. Vibration can also be used alone without audio feedback. Vibration level can be adjusted from 0 to 5. When set to 0, vibration will be deactivated. At level 1, the device will only vibrate on more definite or shallow targets and the target's vibration signal will be longer.
At the maximum level 5, the device will vibrate with smaller or deeper target signals, and the vibration signals will be shorter. The speed of vibration is fixed in the pinpointing mode. It cannot be adjusted. When you turn the device off and on again, it will start with the last vibration level you chose. Vibration level can be adjusted using the plus and minus switch. And the last one is language. It is used to change the language of the device. The force menu can be viewed in 10 languages. At initial startup, the factory default language will be displayed. The user can change the language in the menu using the plus and minus switch. Language is placed as the last option in the menu, so it is easy to find in case the language is changed to a foreign language by mistake. Important details about menu usage. If no button is pressed for a few seconds after accessing the menu, the device will go back to the main screen. If you do not want to wait, you can press and release the pinpoint button once to go to the main screen as well. You do not need to confirm or exit the menu to save the changes. New values will take effect immediately. When you press and hold the menu switches, the menu options and values will change more rapidly. Disabled menu options will appear grayed out. The disabled option may be active in another mode. For example, Threshold appears disabled in the boost mode, but active in the general search mode. 